Hi, everyone. This week in our Torah portion, we're reading Parshat Va'era. And in this Torah portion, we hear about seven of the 10 plagues. This, of course, has me thinking about our own time period in which we ourselves are going through a very real plague living through this time of the coronavirus, but also about other societal plagues that we are experiencing right now. And the one that's sitting particularly heavily on my heart right now is the one of anti-Semitism, which reared its head so uh, forcefully and in such an ugly way last week at the Capitol when the Capitol was breached, certainly a reminder to us of uh, how some people uh, continue to spread lies about us as a people and to want us destroyed. Dr. Jonathan Sarna, who is a preeminent American Jewish historian said this, he said um, that the images that we saw on TV and the tweets demonstrate that some of those who traveled to Washington to support President Trump were engaged in much more than just a doomed effort to maintain their hero in power. As their writings make clear, some among them also hope to trigger what is known as the great revolution based on a fictionalized account of a government takeover and race war that in its most extreme form would exterminate the Jews. So I feel like this is a time when we need to be really strong in our Judaism. We need to be a force for light in a world that is sometimes dark. And our tradition has such beautiful teachings and uh, can really, I think, help our world so much so I'm just praying that we as a community continue to come together in a very strong fashion, that we continue to teach our kids our beautiful tradition. We come together for Shabbat services and we work together to build a better world. Shabbat Shalom. Well, I receive those words, Rabbi Steele, and as difficult as they are for us to hear, I'm grateful that you named it. Uh, striving for freedom and sustaining freedom is hard work. And that's the essence of the Israelites' exodus story, uh, a story that inspired Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose birthday we celebrate this Shabbat and weekend. Uh, Moses' mission, compelling Pharaoh to let my people go, is a classic misdirection. The story is about the Israelites. It's the Israelites enslaved for over 400 years that must learn how to believe in themselves. Moses understands this as he appeals to God in this week's Torah portion saying, my own people won't listen to me. How in the world is Pharaoh going to listen to me? Yes, it's the cry of the Israelites suffering under Egyptian bondage that summons God to redeem our people. Yet the Jewish view of God is to this day countercultural. God is there to offer us the strength needed to exercise our own agency in the world. Our freedom story is about making the choice to take on the responsibilities required to create a kind and just society. No sooner after we cross the Red Sea do we begin the long route to the promised land by accepting the obligations of Torah. Our biggest challenge is in being able to listen, to empty ourselves of old narratives that hold us back. That's the central prayer of the Jewish people, from God to Moses to the Israelites to us, a prayer that hasn't ceased since standing at the foot of Mount Sinai. Shema Yisrael, listen Israel, open your ears, discern what is true. Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. That's what our ancestors had to take deeply into their souls for their journey to freedom. That's our legacy. 
to ensure freedom in our day, etched in the sacred words of Torah, listening, emptying ourselves of narratives that diminish others, enslave the most vulnerable, make us small. Adapting the narrative enshrined in the Declaration of Independence and brought to life in our evolving constitution of the United States. That is the foundation of American democracy. That's what we must hear. Shema Yisrael, the Kol Yoshve Tevel, listen Israel and all the inhabitants of the earth. And along those lines, and in the words of James Taylor, adapting a little Martin Luther King, wanted to share this little excerpt with you. Oh, let us turn our thoughts today to Martin Luther King And recognize there are ties between us All men and women living on the earth Ties of hope and love, of, of sister and brother. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom and a happy Martin Luther King birthday, a holiday that is well-timed for us. <laughs>